uh, making his Batovi Monthly Meetup debut. It is my pleasure to introduce Leo Diaz Longhi. Leo is a DevOps consultant with a pretty interesting sysadmin background of more than 10 years always trying to solve complex problems in the most automatic way uh, led him to the dark magic of DevOps, SRE, and platform engineering, and now enjoys how easy it is to deploy what's needed through GitHub Actions, BitOps, and infrastructure as code tools. This proud owner of a home lab when he's not working or doing other nerdy stuff, uh, you'll probably find him outside hanging out with his wife, his kid, and his dog. So, uh, Leo, take it away. Okay, thank you, Andrew. So, um, I'll start with a quick presentation about the uh, an introduction to the GPT Slack bot. Um, so, what is ChatGPT? Um, so, ChatGPT is a natural language processing model created by OpenAI. Um, it is designed to generate human-like responses to text messages in real time. I will get back to that human-like uh, in a few seconds. Uh, it generates responses to user input and can be used for text-based conversation, customer service, and more. Um, I think that the, the human-like factor and the, the fact that it could learn from input uh, was what make um, the rapid adoption of this uh, for day-to-day -day use. So um, what is Slack? I think that uh, everybody here knows what Slack is. Uh, it's one of the most used collaboration platforms uh, and we use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So why would you like to use um, a bot in Slack um, to have a quick integration with ChatGPT, to ask for facts in an easy and fast way, uh, to enhance your day-to-day -day work and just for fun, of course, so why do you need to get it running? An AWS account where you can deploy an EC2 instance, a GitHub repo where you can set up an action, and a Slack workspace where you would like to deploy this. And of course, as usual, a few minutes of your time. So how is it to use it on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, here are some examples. Um, here's a quick example of how to quick start a presentation might sound familiar um, so you can give it a, a quick sentence asking for something that you need we will get back to you with that um, you could use it to um, start a, a blog about something with certain topics uh, and it will give you uh, a briefing of that uh, it, i think it's a good way to to start writing something if you if you don't know where to start uh, you can use it to get an explanation of a certain code. Of course, this is not a, a difficult code to read, but um, you can get uh, a complex sentence or a function and you would like to understand it uh, in a fast way or there's something and some detail that you might be missing. Well, here it's uh, ChatGPT to help you. Um, there's another function that lets you convert code from one, one language to another. Um, it even allows you to write code from scratch. If you if you have a need to kind of write a function or some code specific uh, in a certain language you might not know that much, uh, you can write down what you need to do in what language, and ChatGPT will take care of you for that. So how does it work? Um, so there's a, a, as soon as you send a message through Slack to the bot tagging him, um, the Python script will read that request uh, because that request don't travel that fast. Uh, it will give you back a message saying that it's on it. It will forward the, the request to the OpenAI API. Um, the OpenAI chat will reply to that, uh, to that bot via answer will get captured and as soon as it has it the bot will create a thread and post the answer for you so where does Bitobi come in um, the bot needs somewhere need to be up need to be set up somewhere somehow so we created a github action um, in fact we have a repo for that uh, that will automate this deployment for you in just a few minutes uh, so the action in the end will create an AWA EC2 instance, install every required component it needs, and create a Docker container with the bot. Uh, and of course, we'll need 
to be integrated with your credentials. So there's an upcoming blog um, with every detail on how to set this up. Uh, of course, it's written by ChatGPT and there's some editing done by us. Um, there's an awesome video showing these steps by steps and how easy it is to get it up and running, which by the way, it's in the Bitopi YouTube channel. The code for you to have grab and fork is available in Bitopi's GitHub. And in fact, it's up and running in the Bitobi internal Slack. Uh, if you like to poke the, the bot, you can just join the interest AI channel. Uh, and of course, if you have any trouble, problem, or anything, you can come and talk with us DevOps.